Um, if the investigation, the conclusion shows that the person, even though he's a Muslim, he have certain thing, something to do with terrorizing American citizens or any other people, if it is true, empirically established that actually the person does that or he did that, then I'm, I'm for it. I agree that he should be punished according to the law. If, whether he's a Muslim or not, once whatever he's doing behind closed doors is going to, you know, disenfranchise the people or is going to cause chaos or harm to them, definitely, 100%, I support that the government should flush him out. And if there is the law, he should face the penalty. The state security officials were apprehensive of Sheikh Mohammed Awa's frequent travels in and out of U.S. apparently on Islamic mission. They wanted to know, among other things, his source of funding, people behind it, and why he is allegedly trying to Islamize America. Sheikh Mohammed Awal and his team were accosted in a vehicle and subjected to a search on their way back to New York from a naming ceremony in New Jersey. All the four people on board were asked to produce the identity cards of which they did. Police then asked three of them to go while Sheikh Mohammed Awal was picked up, detained and interrogated by police in New Jersey. They asked us to produce our, you know, uh, identity card or something. So I, they, we, we all gave. When I gave mine, they look at it and they look at me. They check it out and and uh, he eyeballed one of his friends that they were working with. He looked at me and he made a gesture like maybe that's him or something. I don't know. So they said, okay, yeah, the other three could go home, but me, they want to take me to um, a further interrogation. So they took me to one of their offices in New, uh, in New Jersey. The first question they asked me was, why is it that I'm trying to Islamatize America? And I said to them, I don't Islamatize America. I don't have the power, I don't have the capability. I'm just an evangelist Muslim. Just like any other religion have an evangelist, I'm a Muslim evangelist. I'm presenting Islam, whoever wants it, fine. Whoever doesn't want it, still fine. Because in Islam, you can't compel anyone to accept your religion out of faith. That don't make no sense. I don't do that. But um, I think I'm free, according to the U.S. Constitution, to present my religion. It's okay, fine. The next question they asked me was, um, okay, Mr. Mohammed, why is it that uh, for the past two to three months we've been watching you, you travel to over 25 different cities, different states, and in all this, you know, traveling, you was flying, just taking the plane up and down like that, so we don't understand. We just want to find out, do you have someone that sponsor you to do all these activities? I said, no. I said, so then how do you manage to fly? I mean, do you have the resource? I said, oh, okay, well, anyone that wants my service, he gives me a call, and the condition is, give me a place to sleep, hotel, get me some food to eat, and make it easy for me to do my thing. And that's what I did. So. He says the police later took all electronic devices on him and discharged him only after about seven hours of detention. Anything that is electronic, that you work with, we would like to have possession of it. I said, okay, fine, no problem. But I guarantee, within, I guarantee you over 10,000% that you're never going to catch me with anything wrong because I don't break laws. I know who I am. We went to the house, they took the tabletop, the laptop, the pen drive, the hard drive, anything that is electronic, they took it away from them. And I told them, okay, I'll be leaving to Africa in about a day, I mean, in about, in about two days. So, uh, when you're done doing whatever you're doing, why don't you give it to someone that I designed it? In that case, my brother was there, so I said, okay, give it to him, everything. And so I left. When I left, within two days, my brother called me, and he said, you know what happened? I said, no. He said, okay, well, they came begging. They came begging and, you know, saying they don't know that this is how I operate my, you know, evangelistic something, and that I'm very clean, I'm very nice, I, I don't pose any threats to the United States government. And so therefore, they're very sorry. They're just doing what they were asked to do. In all that, Sheikh Mohammed Awal says his confidence of exoneration remained about 90% high. I'm afraid, 10% afraid, but 90% I know it's going to be okay. Yeah. Did you suspect that somebody might have given them some information about you? No, because it happens several times when I travel out of the country, go to like South America and Canada when I come back. They do ask me, okay, Mr. Mohammed, what did you do this time? It's like, okay, we know you. In a way, like, okay, we know who you are. 
what did you do this time? What do you say about America? When you they know? say they know you, yeah. what exactly they What did? they mean is they know I'm a cleric, I'm a Muslim cleric, and that this is what I do. I present Islam. I, I go here and there and I give talks. So maybe they think I go and give, you know, I go and bow mouth America somewhere, I condemn America, I'm trying to establish Sharia, because that's what, that's the, the mindset, that's what they're thinking. So they want to check me out very closely now. That's what Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin reporting.